diabetes strikes people in rich and poor countries alike. World Health Organization statistics show that more than 80% of diabetes deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. Age and obesity are two risk factors for type 2 diabetes. Another is family history. Dr. Ira Goldfein has been studying the DNA of people with and without diabetes. Diabetes is a very important disease that is increasing in every country of the world and we need to know what causes it and we have to get better treatments for it. With type 2 diabetes, the body cannot turn blood sugar into energy. When sugar builds up in the blood, it can lead to serious complications, including death. And that's why people with this disease need to monitor their blood sugar. Dr. Arthur Lyons was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes three years ago. I have to test my blood virtually every day and make sure that uh, my blood sugar is uh, in a relatively normal range. In their study of DNA, Dr. Goldfein and his colleagues found something. We found a protein that's important, and we found that there are defects of this protein in diabetics. The gene that makes this protein is called HMGA1. The protein is important because it is an insulin receptor, which enables insulin to attach to liver cells and converts blood sugar to energy. If you don't have the HMGA1 gene, then you don't make the insulin receptor. And if you don't make the insulin receptor, uh, insulin doesn't work very effectively. Dr. Goldfein is one of the co-authors of the study that found the HMGA1 mutation in some Italian diabetics. The researchers then repeated the finding in American and French patients. All patients were Caucasian. They found that about 10 percent of type 2 diabetics in the United States and Europe, again all Caucasian, have defects in this gene. There's a sort of scrambling of the sequence which shows that there's a defect at this point in the gene. We have a screening test now to, to identify these people and people uh, who are related to them so we can start treatment and intervention early. Early intervention for people with the HMGA1 mutation, including lifestyle changes, getting enough exercise, keeping weight in the normal range, and monitoring blood sugar could prevent some people from developing type 2 diabetes. The researchers also say understanding the genetic component of this disease could help doctors provide better treatments to patients with type 2 diabetes, or even one day correct the genetic defect and prevent the disease that way. The study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Carol Pearson, VOA News.